Welcome back to Game of Thrones by Telltale, The Lost Lords. Roderick. Or this Roderick. They didn't even check if he was dead. That's far enough. I come from the twins bearing the dead of House Forrester. Lordly types from the looks of them. All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? Sir Ryland. You again. I, uh, Who I, have you got I, this time? Some Sir poor Ryland. peasant dressed up like a I, lord. Uh, a stable boy was, in Bannerman's clothes. You did this at Duskendale. Oh. And you have the fucking stones to try it again. No, I... This house has suffered the loss of many good men. And you dare come here claiming to have <sighs> forest for dead. Therefore... Leave. Now. Fine. I'll dump them in the river then. <sighs> you come back here again, you won't be leaving. You got that? I, I heard you. That was a sheep fucker. <clears throat> I'm sorry, sir. I don't worry, sir. Seven <laughs> what is it, sir? This one's still alive. You there? Who are you? It's me, Roderick. Roderick? Roderick? By oh, the gods, it is you, sir. Fetch the maester! Hurry! Fetch the maester! Roderick! Should not be awake. The milk of a puppy. Drink. Come now. That's it. Roderick! My lady! No. I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. Let him. Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. No. Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, you may never walk again. Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. Don't worry, you'll be fighting in no time.
Morning, Talia. Good to see you again. Roderick, thank the gods. Brother, I think oh, I lost oh. you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Call me a sister. How bad is it? Really bad? Maestor Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. And your face. Oh, you're telling me I don't look good. <laughs> I wouldn't dare. Roderick, something you need to know. Ethan is dead. Ethan? Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan offered to go in my place. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan? How could this happen to him? We'll make Ramsay pay for what he did. I promise. Good. We're planning to honor Ethan in the grove alongside... Father. And now Mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. You can, Talia. I know you can. been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. They need a lord. You're still a hero to them. If you lead, others will follow. I know you still need time to heal, but... I'll be fine, Talia. Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. Only one way to find out. <sighs> I missed you, brother. You know, one thing I really like about this game is that... You can do this, Roderick. ...is that it handles the actual burden of leadership fairly effectively. Like, it's not dumbed down, it's not stupid, and yet... ...you are controlling characters that are very much involved in politics. And it's great, you know, because they do a fairly good job. It's not all sh sunshine in politics, it's actually very... ...dark in politics. I know you can. Patrick. <laughs> Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I need to attend that meeting. And you will. But you will get there on your feet. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. No. I have to do this on my own. All right. <sighs> now 
the hard part. You're really doing it. Everyone will be so glad to see you up, though I think you'll find that much has changed. Castle Black. So this is the site of the Night's Watch. The wall. Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Well, you're seeing now. Recruits at the gate! Is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. <laughs> Giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Mm. Cause you got that look about you. Aye, I am. Thought so. <laughs> I'm new here myself. Frostfinger, he's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. What's in these barrels? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Mm-hmm. Garrett Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Garrett Tuttle of Ironrath. And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. I killed the men who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle. Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Yes, sir. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. 
Oh, and Tuttle. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Let the giant prick. And last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... This will be great. They give us month-old bread. Gah, there's fucking worms in it. The Lord Whitehill is about this. We should just take what we need. I'd rather die. The Whitehill soldiers than always seem to be angry, and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. All right then. You know what else? No fucking wine. Well, there must be wine in the cellars. De Gaulle's locked him up tight, just like his own cunt. He has no f Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> Had a run in He's with Walder Flay, Had a run in with a lot of people. Forest is a real first. shame about your leg, my Who gives a toss? Wood. We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go round. Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house? I am the lord of this house, and you will move. Go on then, my lord. Well. It's madness. You can't starve them I out. I will not coddle our enemies. So you'd rather they riot? Both of you, please. If they riot, we'll fight. That's foolishness. It doesn't matter what you think. It's my decision as Sentinel. My lords. Roderick. My boy. Come, join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. Uh. <gasps> My Lord! It's good. <clears throat> Good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim. No thanks to your sentinel. He's riling up the Whitehill soldiers. They're our bloody enemies! You'll bring Lord Whitehill down on us, you fool! My lords, please! Oh, I'm a fool! At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay Sir stole... Ryland. Ethan made it clear I wasn't wanted! He needed you there. Now he's dead and Ryan's a hostage! 
I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Then find me one, Sir Ryland. That's no simple command, my lord. Most of our men fled after Lord Ethan was killed. And our allies are either dead or too afraid of the Boltons to help us. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! Why is she coming here? She means to pay her respects to your father. But it could also be a chance to solidify our arrangement. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. I'll secure a father's army, no matter what it takes. Very good, my lord. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Give them wine. I want them dull, not angry. Yes, my lord. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be back. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him and Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. You have to be strong, Talia. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. I don't need their help. I'll do it just fine. Well, Costine here on Serious Gaming signing out. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.